Toil de joy. Toy, hoity toity. I. Toil de joy. Lizzie McGuire, you are an outfit repeater. Hey guys, today I just want to talk about some things that I'm really loving right now style-wise, some items, some colors, some trends, either for myself or just enjoying seeing them on other people, some things that I would like to maybe incorporate more into my wardrobe. Some of them are trends, some of them are just random, but either way I just want to talk about some stuff that I'm really liking right now. I'll start with a couple specific items and one of those is the longer skirt with a thigh split or slit or whatever you want to call it. I think this is such a fun, simple piece for summertime. I typically in the past have really avoided anything with a leg slit. I guess I thought it was like too scandalous, but now I kind of think it's fun. It's just a little bit cheeky. If you want to show a little bit of leg but not have everything out, I think it's a really good option. So last week I altered a skirt that I already had into a thigh slit skirt and then I'm thinking about making myself another one just from some fabric that I have on hand already. Kind of in the same vein, something else I'm really enjoying right now is just longer skirts. I've always just preferred my skirts a little bit longer in general and I'm really not on board with this micro mini thing that's been supposedly happening. Do you ever actually see anyone wear those in real life? Like when, I was about to say, when have you been at Walmart and seen that? But that's probably exactly where you would see that. So even though I don't prefer maxi length dresses or skirts, I really am loving how many options there are right now for midi and knee length skirts. I'm just seeing so many more skirt options and outfits come up like on Pinterest and Instagram and I really like that. I think they can create like a really effortlessly feminine look with such a simple piece. So I'm really digging all the skirts we're seeing right now and trying to wear those more myself. And the other specific item that I actually am kind of into right now and did not think that I would be, mostly because it's a trend, is cowboy boots. When it first started popping up, I was like, yeah, I, I don't know. I had my cowboy boot moment like back in high school. Not sure if I'll ever come back around to that. But I was kind of liking the way that the all black cowboy boots looked. I think that goes with so many things. I mean, most of my shoes are black or brown just goes with more things, what can I say? So my thought was, well, if I find a good pair at the thrift store, then I'll give this trend a try, but I, I don't wanna go out of my way and spend 50 plus dollars on a pair of shoes that are really just having a trend moment. Uh, but then I did thrift some. They're actually kind of like a weird fleshy tan color that I'm not crazy about, but they were $5 and I'm gonna try to paint them black. Yeah, I'm just, I'm kind of digging the cowboy boots. As someone who does really enjoy kind of Western prairie inspired looks, it kind of fits right in with a lot of the stuff I'm already wearing. They might be something that I could keep in my wardrobe long-term, honestly, because it does line up with so much stuff that I already have and already like. All right, let's talk about a couple colors I've been really into. Um, obviously this one. <laughs> I've mentioned before that I'm just on a purple kick these days. Who am I? Yeah, it's weird. Just a couple years ago, I really did not like purple, but right now I've really been enjoying this color. It just kind of makes me happy. <laughs> and I actually really like it paired with just like harsh black items this and like a bright pink. I've been really loving that against black. So basically I'm just turning into my sixth grade self. <laughs> I used to wear black and hot pink so much cause I thought it was like so hardcore. <laughs> yeah, so lighter purples I've really been digging and also various shades of green. If it's named after a type of food, I probably like it. Olive green has always been in my core colors. I love olive green. I feel good in olive green, but now add to that avocado, sage, what was the other one? I don't know, asparagus? Different greens that are not like your Kelly green. I deeply dislike that shade. But I've been enjoying playing around with different shades of green. Don't know that they all necessarily look good on me, but uh, I don't really care. Oh, that is one food named green that I do avoid is lime. I don't really do lime, except for the plaid pants that I have, but they're not framing my face, so I think it's okay. And a couple months ago when I was thrifting with my mom, I found this like beautiful avocado green dress. I tried it on, the bodice fit really odd, so I didn't buy it because of that, but I'm still kicking myself for it because you know what? I could have just turned it into a skirt. It was the most beautiful color. And I was like, no, no, it doesn't fit. I shouldn't buy it. But the fabric, the fabric. 
purples and greens going for those secondary colors i'm not really big on primary colors these days haven't been wearing a lot of red or blue or yellow which is weird i used to wear a lot of blue and red and then a miscellaneous thing that i've been really into i'm gonna mispronounce it on purpose because i know if i try to pronounce it properly it's gonna come out wrong anyway so toiled joy river dare you toiled joy toy hoity toity i toile de joie this that type of fabric the like illustrations depicting pastoral scenes of peasantry <laughs> and all that basically if you go to colonial williamsburg everything is plastered in it that's a bit much <laughs> garments that are like head to toe dresses in that fabric are a little bit overwhelming but i'm really loving this type of fabric in like little accents either the upholstery on a chair or i think i saw somewhere like a little corset top that was made with this fabric and it was absolutely stunning this has just always been a print that i've really loved and have always thought was beautiful so i got this at the thrift store as like a fabric remnant and I'm pretty sure this is just a sample from some set of colonial fabrics that someone had so I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with this it's not really enough to make a full top but maybe I don't know I could make my own corset top and just have it be like the front panels made of this it's not a lot but I want to make something out of it yeah that's kind of just random I haven't necessarily been seeing that as like a trend anywhere but I just really dig it and maybe that's because moving on to the more general ideas that I've been enjoying i'm also just really enjoying vaguely historical inspired or what i like to call everyday ren fair style basically just uh dressing very hobbity or piratey or i'm an extra in some miscellaneous historical drama type looking outfits i know there are some people that like full-on dress like they're going to the ren fair every day that is their personal style and i'm not really at a place where i'm gonna fully commit to that because i just enjoy too many various different styles and i couldn't commit to it but it's been something that i'm really enjoying dressing like on occasion and have been trying to build up that portion of my wardrobe a little bit more basically outfits that kind of just look like i'm larping is it almost a costume then i will probably probably wear it. I've just always really loved the type of outfits that you'll see at the Renaissance Fair and I mean people get so creative with their outfits and their costumes there and I just want to bring a little bit of that magic to my everyday life. Turned a lot of heads in the grocery store the other day <laughs> when I did that. I think people gave me more dirty and questioning looks than when I dressed like a little goth bean back in seventh grade. Like people didn't care then but people do not like when you're dressed piratey at the grocery store in your local farm town. And then the the last thing that I've been enjoying and this has been kind of an ongoing thing for me for the past couple years is just really like dark and moody and romantic feeling outfits and honestly home decor as well so that doesn't necessarily mean alternative style outfits I do find a lot of inspiration from my 12 year old self so there might be elements of alternative style but more so just that like dark and romantic almost vampiric <laughs> kind of looks we've been seeing a lot of like different aesthetic names popping up on the internet the last couple years and i think the one that most resonates with me right now is the dark cottage core aesthetic so it's got the elements of like being out in the woods and it's very whimsical but it's darker and moodier and more romantic so that's been something i've just been really drawn to i've always loved wearing black but now i really want to play with those dark textures and patterns and different types of fabrics in dark saturated colors just fabrics that feel very romantic and have that element of touch but in darker colors but i've always been drawn to styles like that and this year i'm just really allowing myself to lean into that more and explore that part of my wardrobe and that's been really fun oh my foot fell asleep okay so those are just some things that I've been enjoying lately, things that I'm trying to incorporate more into my wardrobe and having fun with. Let me know if you enjoy this style of video and other clothing, fashion related topics that I could talk about because every once in a while I need to do an easier sit down video, especially after coming off of like a week of marathon sewing for the last video, I just need to like <laughs> do something more simple. If you made it all the way to the end of this video, leave an avocado emoji in the comments in honor of all the green I've been wearing lately but thank you so much for watching don't forget to follow me on instagram and subscribe bye